I want to help you build a smooth technique that is not only going to be good for shredding, but also for improvising and being creative on your instruments. So I'm Christopher Dahl, and today we're going to speak about muted legato. Now, this is a technique that can be a little bit confusing to people because it sounds like you're actually picking. It sounds staccato-ish. It sounds like you're doing that kind of thing. Whereas in fact, you're doing most of the work with the left hand. Now, only playing legato isn't gonna be enough to accomplish this sound. We have to add a couple of other elements to our playing. Namely, palm muting, hybrid picking. This is not a necessity, but I find it insanely useful to not having to you know, jump around with a pick like that. Instead, we can have our pick stationary and use our fingers as well. And finally, we're gonna be using a whole bunch of hammer-ons and pull-offs, so legato, which is this, right? <laughs> using my right hand. Now, if you can do these hammer-ons from nowhere, where you really don't need to rely on even an initial pick strike, that is gonna be very beneficial, but that's pretty much the topic of another video. For now, it's enough if you can pick one note and then produce hammer-ons, just like you would do in any kind of, you know, blues lick, rock lick. Or this is not an uncommon technique in any way. So. We used pick, hammer on, hammer on. Now, to get that staccato kind of hard hitting sound going, we also want to palm mute. And that means positioning our palm right where the string starts. So you can hear the difference here. It's without palm muting, with palm muting. This is cool, but it's not really what we're looking for, right? We're looking for this kind of thing, which is gonna allow us to keep on playing. And I also told you that I like to use hybrid picking, which is when you combine the pick with our fingers here on the right hand. Uh, now, that's up to you if you wanna do it, but this is also a great way to get started with hybrid picking, if that's something you've been looking to do. So, we pick, hammer on, hammer on, and then we use hybrid picking here on the next string. Hammer on, hammer on, hammer on. Now seven, eight, ten, and then seven, nine, ten. It's good because you get to practice all fingers from the left hand here. It's also restricted to a single position, so it's very exercise oriented while still sounding cool. Now that is a lot of times uh, what's gonna define, from my perspective, a cool exercise, if it actually sounds good as well, because why waste time on something that you can't really use musically once you're done? So here we go. Seventh fret, we start with a pick strike. We're making sure our palm is positioned right where the string starts. Hammer on, hammer on, and then hybrid finger. Now that's it. If you're using the metronome, you can count to three or six. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. <laughs> now the second one is gonna be more beneficial when you gain some speed. Uh, that's gonna be a reference point, the one. So like... uh, but when you're just starting out, three is usually more than enough. Now, I suggest you give this some good practicing time. Uh, usually it's a good idea to start with maybe like five or 10 minutes per day, and then you can increase that a little bit uh, as you get more comfortable with it. And then you should start to notice results uh, after I would say a couple of weeks at least. Now the thing is, even if you don't manage to play this up to tempo, uh, you know, in, in a long time, because this can take you quite some time, uh, then I find that this kind of exercise is still extremely beneficial because a lot of time the left hand is going to be kind of the limiting factor what, with whatever we're playing, especially faster runs. So a lot of people focus on the right hand, but I think that many times it's the left hand that really can't keep up.
So with this kind of exercise, you're really honing in on a typical problem area. So I find this again to be extremely useful, not only for, you know, practicing a cool run, but also for building your technique in the long run. <laughs> Now, if you're looking for this kind of thing, this is hammer-ons from nowhere strictly, even using with arpeggios. And you can hear me messing up quite a bit, but it's still fun. Cool. So I've been Christopher Dahl, and you've been a lovely audience. So thanks a lot for checking this out. And if you'd like to get into more advanced hammer-ons from nowhere and arpeggios, uh, I've just published a lesson at the GMC website, so you're going to find a link below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.